Okay, this is a fairly short demo for the dual compressor setup, and this is what we were doing as part of a test. And so since it was part of a test, it's kind of under time constraints, and so we don't have a lot of time to uh, set up properly what all types of logic we're doing. And basically the test looks kind of like this. Um, it's not very hard, but you kind of have to do it on the fly and of course with any of these logic things there's always uh, you know several dozen different ways to do it but the guidelines are this we set the pressure for 40 psi and the low pressure for 10 psi with these controls and we can do them with either one because they're both the same um, the compressors in this setup run for three seconds each and they just keep switching over between the two um, we have start and stop the run the system and we also have uh, the run light anytime we're starting or operational and then the lights reflect uh, when the compressors are actually on the stop button just completely stops the system now the only last thing for this demonstration we have to do is when the compressors cycle they go fully up to pressure and then all the way down when it drains down and then turns back on. Every time it goes through one full cycle it counts. So it counts when it first goes up and then goes down. And it counts to two the second time it starts the cycle and completes the cycle. Now our stop button stops the process and also resets our counter to zero. Now we have these uh, selector switch ABC. That isn't used for the um, demonstration that we have here and this flow thing you can adjust it to this is the amount of flow that leaks out of the system basically or leaks out of the ta tank so when you want to fill it quickly you um, just put it to a value close to zero when you want to keep when you want it to drain quickly um, so you can get it back down to the low pressure value set it to a high value and if you want to run it nominally just keep it at 50 percent so let's see what that looks like Okay, and here's the implementation of the uh, dual compressor. And again, we didn't have a lot of time to do it, so uh, it was pretty quick and simple. There's not rung, rung comments, which we should have. But anyway, what we do is we take the first time through bit to clear all the internal bits. And I found that's a good idea. Anytime you're doing a program is just clear all the internal bits and you can start with the known uh, state. Then we have the uh, start-stop latch, which is pretty straightforward. The uh, start bit over here turns on a run lamp. And then anytime we have our start bit, and then while we are not at high pressure, then we can enable the motors. And um, then we have two timers. They each run for three seconds, and they cycle between the two. It's pretty straightforward. When this one is done, then it turns on this one. And when this one is done, then it resets this one to... Uh, count and the timer signals just control the compressors the bits internal for the compressors control the lamps and then down here we have the count cycles and this is with the motor enable signal and again the motor enable signal um, it toggles off when we hit the high pressure and then when we get down to low pressure toggles on again so that's what counts and then we display the cycle counters um, how many times we go through the full cycle over here this is just a binary to uh, BCD or seven segment type counter and that'll d make the display over here work. And then when our start bit goes from high to low, which means we've hit the stop button, and then when it goes back high, we reset our counter. First thing to do here is we wanna set this pressure to 40. And then down here, we wanna set this one to 10. And this one, you can set them both or just set one, uh, it doesn't really matter. And what we're going, so, uh, well, we're going to set them both just in case. Um, and let's see what happens. We'll download it, put it in run mode, and we should be ready to go. So we hit our start button, the run comes on, and C1 comes on. Then we switch back and forth between the two compressors, C1, C2. Now, um, this flow, percentage flow, when this is a low rate, it'll... Uh, pressurize faster and that's is basically what percentage of it leaks out of the system so when we're um, pressurizing it 
we want it to be at zero when we're emptying the tank or we're relieving the pressure we want to put this at a, like 100 so we're almost at the end of a cycle here and when we get to 40 it'll shut off and that'll be signified by this bit and that turns off our motor enable signal over here and what we'll do is to get it to drain faster we'll put this up to a high value and now this doesn't get all the way down to 10 before it turns back on um, if it got below 10 that would be more like a fault signal but you know it'll turn back on and it's doing its cycling thing now to get it to pump back up we'll bring this back down to a low and you can see that when it turned back on it started counting that cycle again so now it's at 2 and we'll let it count all the way up to uh, maybe 3 then we'll hit the stop button to watch it reset back to 0 and that'll be the end of the demonstration put that up to a high number and it'll drain down pretty fast and right there it goes back into the run mode and let it pressurize fairly quickly and we're at three and right now if we hit stop our run light goes out now we're still at three and we'll stay there until we hit the start button if we hit the start it'll set back to zero and um, now it's going to sit there until we uh, drain back down and then it'll start again when it starts again it'll count that first start cycle and that is the demonstration as that goes to cycle to one